What's up, YouTube? All right, well, I am splitting up a diff video that I recorded a bit ago, and it's pretty long, so probably be two, possibly three parts, and this is part one, so enjoy. We got it really jacked up. We'll be able to get to the diff and get those axle bolts, those axle bolts, and have enough space to get to the drive shaft. All right, well, let's get to it. All right, to get those axles, you'll need a or the bolts. You'll need a 14. And make sure you are righty tighty, lefty loosey. So you want to be pulling toward you. Break them off. And if they happen to roll, just hold the other one in. Unbolt them. Make sure you don't lose the locking washer as well. And you'll have three sets of two. So total is six on each side. We'll get those first. Then after, after that we'll have four drive shaft bolts. And then you'll have the two rear, for an S14, you'll have the two rear subframe different actually holding the differential in and you'll have the two front bolts holding the differential in and that's it so we got one side washer stuck on so I got one side now to get the other side all right when you have it up on the is it the passenger side you're actually able to get the two of the three areas at one time though so the driver's side only able to get the one and while these are out, I'm gonna go ahead and get, try to get two of the drive shaft bolts out with a 14. And if you had it just up on stands, then you could take it out of gear and roll the wheels. But for extra safety, I put them on these wheels because I don't, I don't know, I don't, trust the jacks always that much and so I'm gonna have to use the jack to jack up the diff and then take it out of gear and roll them to get to the other ones it'll take a little bit longer but I feel a little bit better about it all right well, let's get to these drive shaft bolts all right I got the 14 on the drive shaft 
get my trusty hammer. Let's see, let's make sure it's on the right way. Yeah, that will be loosening. Not a lot of space with this camera in here. There we go. Let one of those off. Now to get the, the second off. A little bit of a pain hanging upside down hitting the hammer that hurt if you're ever wondering if you have an open diff or not you sit there and you Gotta take the emergency brake off. If you're ever wondering if you had an open diff or not, jack the car up so both wheels are off the ground and spin one wheel. As you see, the other wheel is not turning. Open diff. When you get all the bolts off, take special note of the direction that the bolts and the nuts went. As for example, on the drive shaft, the bolts went in this way, and then the nuts on this side. Then obviously on the other side, the bolt went in that way and the nuts on that side. So the nuts on the diff side. Also, pay attention to the drive shaft where the bolt comes in this way and the nut goes on top. Usually, I've taken one of the, the bolts out Usually what I like to do is for the drive shaft keep all the bolts in and get them all loose that way there's no rotating rotating off or anything like that and then I just spin it around and then I could just take them off spin it around and just take them off and get it off all at one time all right well I've gotten all the drive shaft bolts loose. I'm going to get those off. Got all the axle bolts on both sides off. I just got to pull them off of the output shafts. And then I need to get those two bolts and those two bolts. And before I get those, these two bolts and those two bolts, I need to Take the drive shaft off of the diff. And just push and rotate and it comes right on out. And I need to do the same thing axles. Where are the axles? You do the same thing for the axles here. You just kind of press in and rotate them down. Those are broken loose. I bet as soon as I lower the diff, those things are gonna those things are just gonna pop right off. So I won't worry about those. I'll just loosen those bolts up first and then drop the diff down. All 
I think I can go for these bolts first and then put a jack under here under the diff and then do the front bolts that way I can, this will come down and I could just push it forward and come down with the jack also don't forget this is the ground take that off that goes up there and there should be a little hose up on top we'll see what it is once we start dropping it these two are 19 and those two are 17 brake bar 19 in there well that broke loose once you get those two bolts out, or the two nuts out, you put them down, but don't forget this, uh, this holder for the ground wire. Remember that goes over on the left side, next to that uh, wire there, all right? So I got the 17 bolts loose, or broken. Now I'm gonna put a jack under the diff just to hold it while I take the bolts off. I like to put either like you could put a hockey puck or some rubber under the jet or on top of the jack. I don't have that so I just ball up a t-shirt just to give it a little bit of cushion so it's not just complete metal on metal. It's out in all its glory. One thing that was a real pain was getting around the exhaust. And don't forget, I don't know why I forgot, I've done, I've done this four or five times. This, there's a second bolt in there that's a 19 to come out. Well, At least we got it out. Also, if you like the video, like it, please comment and subscribe to my channel. Peace.